you have at the moment some sensation in your body which is not something you really want. Yeah. Right. So you call it pain. I don't know. I don't want any content. Content just confuses me. Okay. So you know by direct ability to sense your body that there's something wrong since you indicated it in your left shoulder. Mm -hmm. You had it for a long time? The last five days. Oh, just the last five days. Okay. Oh, I've had neck problems for quite a while. Neck problems? Yeah. Okay. So, what do you do about it? Stretch. Okay. So she has a way of responding to it. The stretching does relieve the pressure. Yeah. Um, Sorry. Yes, that has been out for the last five days. Yes, I've been stretching and breathing routine. Okay. Have you been doing it the last five days? Yeah. Okay. And it's not working. Okay. okay. Well, let's take advantage of this. Yeah. Reach up and touch the part of your body where the pain is most intense. And then release the touch. You don't want to anger yourself there. You just want to, to contact your patient. Say, using your internal dialogue, like here's a positive use of internal dialogue. Say, uh, hey, unconscious, we've got this issue. We've had this sporadically over some period of time. Um, we've worked out mostly stretching and flexibility uh, exercises, which sometimes are effective, but for the last five days have not been. So I'd like, to, I'd like your cooperation in investigating how we can alleviate this condition on a more consistent basis, so I don't have to suffer this. Having said all that, then say to your unconscious, I can't consciously change the pain sensation in my neck and left shoulder. Um, so I'm going to ask you to change some quality about that sensation right now. And how you change it, whether you move it to a new location, or you make it more intense, or less intense, or you convert it from pain into temperature difference, whatever you want to do with it, make some difference in the sensation. The difference you make will be your yes signal. If I ask you a question and you want to say yes, you'll make that same difference. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and say that and then wait with your attention on that part of your body until something shifts that you can detect. Okay, so something changed. If it's okay, because this is a training seminar as well, what shift? Uh, it's like, it feels like a heat. Heat. Okay, so it shifted from pain sensations to temperature fluctuation. So it's warm where it was painful. Yes. Okay. So say that, touch and say thanks, and say please go back to the pain. You don't want this, but it's that temporary thing. Sure. So, okay, so you got the pain back now, not the temperature. Mm -hmm. Okay. So notice, by the way, the game is actually over. Her unconscious is participating. It's offering signals, and it had it just removed the pain and, and replaced it with the temperature difference. This is very good news for you. Okay, so you want to know signal as well, because if you're unconscious, go to and say yes, what user would be right? Okay. Okay. So say if you're unconscious, make a new change again, locational change or pressure change or whatever you want. Make some change in the pain that I'm again experiencing. Thanks to you. Um, which will mean a no in our conversations. And then we patiently get a, a change to where it's not. Yeah, okay, so. Sorry, it got cooler. It got cooler. So, not surprisingly, it uses heat for uh, a yes signal and, and uh, the Latin day cooling of the same area. So, again, it's demonstrating the unconscious can change the pain to another modality in the kinesthetic system which is a lot preferable, not preferable. But notice, we're being respectful of what's going on. She had, there's something going on here that she needs to deal with. If we were just to pop a pill, or ask the unconscious to get rid of the pain, it would be idiocy. The pain is a signal that says to bed, I need to do something about this. And if it were to disappear, she'd forget about it. Whatever the condition was, would it be aggravated, accelerated, et cetera. Okay, so far so good. So let's jump right to, we have a yes signal and a no signal. Now, because of the nature of the change and the fact that this is an intelligent woman, if she uh, knew how to do this before, it probably would have been danger <laughs> that she'd get rid of it and, 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 and 
with or without some alternative signal. We're being respectful in the sense we're keeping the feedback loop entirely intact. We're just changing the quality of the communication from pain communication to temperature communication. She now has two involuntary signals, one for yes, warming in that part of, the, of her body, and one for no, cooling in that part of her body. So now, uh, have the pain come back. So we always go back to the default condition so that the signals are now available. If you stayed with the cooling or stayed with the heat, that's not a signal, that's a symptom. Okay. So you don't want the pain, but you want to make sure that whatever changes occur leave you intact, flexible, etc. And so let's let's just ask the naive question. Unconscious, do you know how to correct the condition in my neck and shoulder, which I've sporadically had over the years for these last five days, to restore balance and flexibility there? And obviously, once that happens, there won't be any need to pain. Do you know how to do that in options? <coughs> and now she's going to wait for either a warming up or a cooling off. Yes, or no signal. I think it's going to cool up. It's going to cool up, which, yeah. which means? No. OK, so it says no. It doesn't know how. Right. Lovely. This, this is an ideal for training. Okay. Not, not, what you, <laughs> not what you hope for. <laughs> but it's a, it's a step in the process. OK. So, um, touch and say thanks for the signal because you appreciate the signal and then ask it to go back to the default to the original pain. Let me know when you're back there. Now does she have to go back to the default state in order for the signals to be available? Okay. She's back to the pain. Now, <clears throat> your unconscious has said, I don't know how to do that. It's the signal we got. It, was, it wasn't as strong as the original but it was definitely a signal. So uh, it could even be interpreted as, I don't know whether I can. <coughs> Which is what I've been getting all week, trying to do the okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, so the same signals, the same class of signals that's occurred in mm -hmm. steps. Okay, so now, and this is very close to what you and I did this morning. You don't have this pain all the time. Sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. Even in the last five days, there's been periods where you had the pain, periods where you didn't have the pain, but it's been too consistently present for your comfort. So I propose that the unconscious accept the responsibility for an investigation. Which investigation specifically? An investigation, what is going on in this part of your body when you don't have pain? In other words, on what postural, what muscular, what internal representations are being triggered which are associated with the pain and not present, other ones are present, when you're entirely pain free. It, it's all getting hot, what is that? This is, this is a, the, an ideal response. I'm proposing, and the unconscious, well, she proposed with the question, and the unconscious said, nah, I don't know if I know how to do that. I don't think so. But as I'm proposing the investigation and pointing out that it does know, if it does an investigation and discovers what the hell is going on when there is pain and when there is not pain, then it could make the intervention that she told me it will make. So this is a confirming signal, easy, even as I'm talking about this. So let's officially do it. We already have it. Yeah. So ask, OK, from what you've already offered me, go back to the pain default so we can get a clean signal. And go, okay, officially, would you accept responsibility for the investigation we just described so you can discover under what conditions are, you're free of pain and flexible and strong? And what conditions are. You see the, you see the calibrations? Um, she's waiting for a, a, a change in temperature in that part of her body. Our job is to calibrate what else is happening when she gets the warming and when she gets the cooling so that we can verify by an independent calibration the response that she's giving us. Follow? So you're always looking for another set of signals that accompany the ones that you find. I 
Okay. 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 So it heated up, yeah, just like it heated up when I was talking. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. So it, 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 so the judge is away saying thank you. You should get the accompanied with an internal dialogue. Says thank you, and you go with your permission, unconscious. I'll remind you to carry this investigation out from time to time during the day. Um, since we're in progress toward finding a permanent healthy solution, could you use the temperature as opposed to the pain as an ongoing signal so I don't have to suffer while you're doing this work? Okay. Ask if it's willing to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got a deal. Now, um, at the moment, you're not doing anything which is inappropriate, expect this, as far as we can tell. Mm -hmm. Are you still feeling a slight warmth there? Yes. yes. Okay. As long as that's happening, what you're doing is okay with your unconscious. While it investigates the deeper uh, realignment or reorganization, mm -hmm. muscularly, or whatever is required, mm -hmm. gets you back to the flexibility and strength in that part of your body you want. Does that make sense? Yeah. If you start to do something inappropriate, Mm -hmm. which would exacerbate the situation, you get a quick cooling, okay. a cold. Right. Now, on your part, to keep up the bargain, if you get the cold, you stop doing what you're doing. Okay. Adjust your posture, etc., until you feel the warmth come back, and you go, okay, I'm back in the good zone. Mm -hmm. Okay, make sense? Yeah. Now, the follow-up is you're gonna check, maybe at lunch, maybe at the end of the day, mm -hmm. certainly, fall asleep holding an image of this part of your body to remind your unconscious to work during the night on finding, using investigation to find under what conditions are you pain-free, strong, and flexible in that part of your body. In the morning, as often as you want, a couple times a day, go, are you investigating? Have you get the warmth to increase? The answer is yes. Have you found some things that you can put into play to see whether we can make a more permanent realignment of this and cure the situation? If you get a cooling, the answer is still under under investigation. Once you get a yes to that, go put it in play. Is there anything I need to do to support you? Anything I can do to support and accelerate the process? Okay. In the meanwhile, you'll be pain free. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay.